Zaka zita tu zimena kandi ilima ulimi wa mabedi. Na gula kwa ngombe. Kwa matandizo sola kusukulu mwana. Tele lupeze ka panopa. Masiku ambuyo zimani vura singa mpe ulimi wa mabedi. Kwa mapanopa. Ziku teka. Ndala masu umakalago. Nkuma gula kwa sozina. Na gula kwa ngombe, mbuzi, nkumba, nkugu. Tele zilipo. Ngolo ilipo pakomo. Usiana ni mene mwona lili mbuyomu. Chakuja, chokwa nila. Panopa, chakuja, nchone uri chilipo. Siru funa soza kumunda hai. Nde uri mpaka na riza kolola, chakuja, tukuja, chimene jina kolola, chakaja tachi. Uli mewama bedi u, uli ntandi zo, lokuwa nila. Chifuwejo kuti, uli miu, ura banga mebedi, malawo banga mebedi yo zaka faifi, osa gaulaso. Kwa maso uli mila, nde uri, si ujiru renga kasu hai, umaga nzula zula, basi, okwa nitarele, nde uri kwa nzula kamozi, nde uri makaripa kwa na. Our long-term plans are that government and all the NGOs that are you know, working with farmers should transit from ridges or any other farming which does not control erosion to start now deep bed farming which controls erosion, harvests water. It means that erratic rainfall will no longer be an issue because there is quite good resilience in terms of uh, uh, our maize or other crop stand against the you know, dry spells. So countrywide, we may not suffer the impact of dry spells. We promote also, uh, you know, livestock farming. They have pigs, they have goats, and all the livestock that contribute to uh, changing the livelihood uh, status of the farmer, because in terms of income, in terms of nutritional balance, in terms of nurturing the soil, because the manure that is made out of animal dung will transform the soils, making the soils very healthy. From what we have seen, deep bed farming can address all these impacts in different ways. As a ministry, there are different methods that we use to, to spread the extension messages. This is one of the methods by having these field days. We are also going to intensify some exchange visits. So we would like to see how best we can work with the TN organizations to have other farmers from other areas to come here and appreciate how the crop stand is doing under these practices. Besides that, we are also going to intensify with some demonstrations. But most importantly, we need to build capacity of our extension staff. So we are also going to intensify with some trainings. Being a relatively new practice, we need to do a lot of training for extension staff on how they can implement this. In that way, we can be sure that the technology can scale up easily.